Thank you for joining us for our first ever Slows Gold Media Presents Kyle's Repair Clinic. Today we're going to be taking a PlayStation 1 original from 1996. It no longer reads discs so we want to kind of fix that problem. I have a Raspberry Pi Zero and what I'm going to do is I'm going to not only fix the laser so that it can continue to read PlayStation games, but I'm also going to add the Raspberry Pi to add some emulation capabilities. First you'll need a PlayStation 1, like I said mine's from 1996. A Raspberry Pi Zero version 1.3. You also need a Sony PlayStation disc, a level, solder, soldering iron, a Phillips head screwdriver, a smaller Phillips head screwdriver, and a file. So first we're going to start with a few tools that you'll need to start. You're going to need the Phillips head, the file, and the smaller Phillips head. First we'll take the PlayStation over with the regular Phillips head and there'll be five screw points that you'll have to unscrew. Starting here, one, two, three, four, and five. So next, after you've removed all the screws, you're gonna wanna flip the unit over and from here lift straight up and set over to the side. Once the top of the PlayStation 1 is removed I want to make note of a couple components. First the power button, secondly the laser mechanism, thirdly the disc tray close button and then also the memory shield cover. You want to remove these five screws located on your memory cards so we'll start by that process. Once you remove the heat shield, you're going to have exposed the memory card enclosures. We're going to go ahead and remove this by lifting up slightly and then pulling the ribbon cable from the motherboard, setting this aside. Once you remove the memory card bays, we're going to go ahead and remove the laser. Next you're going to want to remove the processor from the system, as the Raspberry Pi is going to be replacing it. Next, you're going to want to remove this heat shield and cover of the circuit board by removing all the screws surrounding it. With the heat shield removed, you're going to see a circuit board exposed. Now, you remember that file I told you earlier? Well, we're going to need that now. You're going to take the file and carve your name into the circuit board somewhere in a blank space. I'm going to choose right here. Once you've scratched your name in the board, we're going to go ahead and solder some contacts together to make a connection for the Raspberry Pi Zero. So this chip right here looks like a good option. Oh, I almost forgot. You're going to need to attach two wires in here to make the mod work. First, you're going to need to connect from here from your XLR port to your P5 port on this chip by simply attaching a wire and two beads of solder. You're also going to have another port right here and then also right here. This is the P17 and the P12. So we've connected those two together. Now after you've soldered the two wires and everything, you cleaned up all the solder. You, I forgot one tool that I was forgotten to mention. Once you've secured the heat shield back onto the circuit board, we're going to go ahead and replace the laser. Remember that processor board we said we didn't need it earlier? Well, it turns out we actually do. So I'm going to place this back in here like this. Once we have everything back in the board, we need to make sure we connect this last cable. This is very important for system function. All right, it's plugged in. Since we already used all the screws for the screw tray, <laughs> since we planted all the screws for the screw tree, we're gonna go ahead and tape the system back together. But beforehand, we're gonna make sure that the buttons work. Starting with the open and close. Oh, beautifully. Power button still compresses, and the reset button all still work. So before taping the system back together, we're gonna put the first thing in, which is the install disk for the Raspberry Pi. Then we're gonna place your first game, 
which is Sega Saturn, which it now plays. Thirdly, a PlayStation 1 game. Then all the other games that you could ever want to play. With all your games loaded, you're going to go ahead and take your tape and go across the top making sure the lid will not close. You may need to do this a couple times to make sure that your PlayStation is securely secured. Now that we've put in all the hard work and added the Raspberry Pi for full functionality for emulation and modified games, we're able to fully enjoy our new PlayStation 1.